Welcome back to another episode of Unlimited Outdoors Midwest. I'm your host, Carl Bowen, and today I'm going to show you all my secret to catfishing. This is the bait that I use almost every time that I go, and it's a very simple way to attract catfish pretty much anywhere that has catfish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these, they're called Smoked Sausage Grillers Cheddar, made by Eckridge. You eight in a pack. 325 what I, I only got five left I used a couple the other day we're just going to dice them up into pieces about that big nothing fancy we're going to do that to the every one of them about a half inch thick there get these chopped up And then what we're going to do is take some of these high C flashing fruit punch little packets like this. This is what the box looks like. These work awesome. And this particular one, it is just fruit punch. So it says it has lemons in it. We're going to get all these out of here. We're going to fill this bowl up with a little bit of water. I like to use cold water. We're going to put two of these in there. Tell you why here in a minute. Things are so hard to open. It says it has a place to tear, but there is no place to tear. Just have to force it. All right. We almost got it. All right. We get one in there. Mix it down in that bowl of water, and we're going to try one more. There we go. That one was a little bit easier. Try not to stain up your counters. Very easy to do with this stuff. Right now, I have about a half a bowl of water with two of these high seed packets in it. So, we're gonna put our pieces that we chopped up, look like this, little pieces like that. We're gonna throw them right in there. We're gonna let them soak. We're gonna chop all these up the same way. Like I said, these are, these are no good anymore. They sat in my truck overnight. So we're going to use them for hot dog bait. Get them all soaking, and then you're going to want to put this in the fridge. And what this is going to do is mimic like the piece of hot dog is bleeding. As soon as it hits the water, you're going to see that Kool-Aid start coming out of the hot dog, and that's what you want. It's going to soak in there, and it's going to mimic something that's bleeding. Catfish will pick up on that. A lot of different fish will pick up on that. I've caught bass that way. I've caught bluegill that way. And I do every time I go. So this is what I do right here, y'all. It's my secret to catching catfish. Works like a charm. Six hours later. This is after they have sat for about five or six hours in the fridge. We're going to drain the juice off of them, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them back in the fridge, and take them out fishing with us. A few moments later. Then you hit it with that garlic. And you're ready. Here we go, y'all. We just got us our first Idra of the afternoon. Sorry I didn't have my camera rolling, but that's off the Kool-Aid hot dog. Let's get back after him, y'all. We got one, y'all. Big old snapper. What do y'all think about him? Come on in here, big fella. Come on. You 
He's going to try to get away on me. I ain't going to let it happen. seen an alligator snapping turtle earlier today but this is your common snapping turtle right here we're going to try to get a close-up here i finally got a hook in him oh that's a big boy this is a male common snapping turtle you can tell by the tail on it it's got a huge tail we're going to set this in the rod holder here that'll hold him he's going to try to take off on us let me step out here real quick try to get it up close try to get it up close to this right here That's a big boy turtle right there. All right, we're gonna let you go, Bill. Hold on, you. It's a big turtle, y'all. Big turtle. Look at that one out there. Another big one. This place is full of big turtles. A big one there too. Now I seen an alligator snapping turtle in here this morning that was way bigger than those two. But now that I've got that one out of the way, I think that's the next one I'm gonna go for. Is there's a monster alligator snapping turtle in here. Uh, he has forearms like a full grown man. So we're gonna try to get after him. I just wanted to get this on video for y'all. Thanks for tuning in to Unlimited Outdoors Midwest.